Hopefully tomorrow we'll cross over the Victorian border. So we just, we just pulled over at Canaplin and there's a pretty cool solo art here. Yeah. So we ended up stopping at Lake Indawarra. But yeah, we're heading to Neil. 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 Neil in Victoria. So we just crossed over the border. In Victoria. In Victoria. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning, eh? This is the style of art. This is our favourite so far. Yeah. And we've come across the scariest, <laughs> I think the scariest big thing. Hi, I'm Bianca and this is my husband Grant. We're currently travelling Australia full time with our two dogs, Frank and Baxter. Come join us on our adventures. Hello. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> so back on the road again. We had an awesome three night, three nights? Yeah, three nights in Harndorf. Uh, we, we ate. We, we ate, ate a lot so of food. food. <laughs> <laughs> we ate a lot of food. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm still kind of in pain. <laughs> I'm a bit. Oh, we were pretty good with the gluten free. Like, no, we were really good. Yeah. Just, it was the amount that we ate. Yeah, the amount of food. Ate. Yeah, so much food. Huh, no, I mean, if you haven't watched it, go check that one. There's uh, lots of stuff that we've done in Handorf. Um, you know, we went, obviously went out to dinner quite a bit. Um, we went to some wineries. The cheese shop. A cheese shop. We had fondue. Oh, yum. Uh, and then just walked around town, had a look at everything. Went to the Beerenberg um, farm. farm. Yep. Beerenberg farm. And so we just left and went into Mount Barker, uh, picked up some groceries and some bits and pieces. And we're on the road again and trying to find a camp for tonight. Hopefully tomorrow we'll cross over the Victorian border. And I'm heading out on our way to Horse Gap. So, that was a oh, police car. I haven't seen one for a while. Yeah, you don't see them too much in the outback. <laughs> I think we seen one at Kimba. Oh yeah, we saw one. In a yeah, yeah, in a troopy. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen too many, too many police officers. Oh yeah, we'll, we will talk to you later. One of the kids was, looks like he's trying to be Salt Bay. <laughs> salt off his elbow, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? Just on the other side of the train tracks near the silo is this little off-leash dog area. So we thought we'd take the dogs, give them a little chance to run around and stretch their legs. It's nothing special. <laughs> but it's something. Something. Yeah. So, it's I think better. it's really important for these little towns to do things like this. You know, it doesn't have to be super duper special, but as long as they have things on, things on offer. Yeah. No. We're yep. stopping and we're appreciating it. Definitely. It does smell a bit funky. I think it's the bin nearest, but 
Uh, good for the dogs to be able to just stretch their legs by themselves and not just be on the lead just all the time. Just our shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and Frank is wearing a thunder vest, thunder jacket. Uh, he gets a little bit anxious at like caravan parks and stuff, and it's been soothing him, so he's been wearing a thunder thunder jacket now. Um, we'll see how he goes. Bit of a nervous Nelly. Yeah. So we ended up stopping at Lake Indawarra. It's a little rest stop that you can stay for the night. And it has this little, obviously, lake and a windmill, some swings and stuff. It's quite pretty. So apparently you can swim in there. I'm not going to go for a swim, but you can swim in there. Oh, what are these little fire pits? Morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we just packed up and we're ready to hit the road. Just got in the car and as you can see, it's a little wet. I think it's the first time we've driven in the wet, isn't it? Oh yeah. Like, think, on this trip. I think so. Um, it's not like like a super rain, it's just like a really, like a mist. A but drizzle. A drizzle, yeah. But yeah, we're heading to Neil. Neil. Yeah. Neil. Nil. Nil. Nil in Victoria. So we're, yeah, across the border today and then. Yes, it is, yes. Yeah. It's not across the border. No, yes. it is. Yeah, it is. It's on the other side. So across the border and. Very good. I don't know. We'll go have a look around. Well, the place we're staying at. Nil Airport. Has a. Nil Airport. Has a. Um, Northcote Terrace. Yeah, at Northcote Terrace. <laughs> um, thank you, Sally. It has a aircraft museum thing, so from World War Two. From World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I know you can tell, but it's like all things. What is it? Planes, trains, and automobiles. That's great. Yeah, anything I can drive, <laughs> and, you know, possibly crash. I love it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. And sorry, I look a little bit different. I just took my glasses off because they're all wet. Yeah. Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this person? Who are you? <laughs> okay, well, we'll chat later. Bye. <laughs> Just crossed over the border. In Victoria. In Victoria. Quick, we drove past the sign. It was like just there on the side of the road and we went fast enough. So just like picture in your head, sign that says, welcome to Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't feel any different. I feel more posh. Oh, posh. Posh, yeah. Victoria's posh. Yeah. <laughs> In a good way. wind hopefully you can hear. Just driving through Caniva in Victoria and there's an absolutely beautiful stunning <laughs> style of art. This is our favourite so far. Yeah. Um, it's a bird. Because it's a bird. <laughs> It certainly feels like we're in Victoria. Ooh, it's, a bit, it's a bit windy, but chilly. Just taking the dogs for a little walk and go look at the silo and some of the other little, other little bits of artwork. So, if you haven't already, you need to do this is to put a little carabiner on the end of the dog lead so you can just. Uh, Quick yes, hook up. Hey. Quick, quickly hook the dogs up so they don't get in the way of your photography. <laughs> Just in front of these, this beautiful silo are some um, artwork sheep and a playground, which is really nice. <laughs> the dogs have to get there, they think they're real. <laughs> Frankie, he's not real. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's icy. Before when you said, we're in Victoria, I don't feel any different. I should have said, I feel colder. Yeah. <laughs> And like usual, Victoria is turning on the weather <laughs> for us. Not Amazing. disappointed. Not disappointed at all. No, I'm joking. Like, I actually grew up in Victoria, so <laughs> I'm not picking on anybody from Victoria. I have for, what did I live here from 10 till 18? So, <laughs> a bit of time. I'm not picking on you. Neil? Neil? Neil, the old raft base. There's an RV friendly camping spot donation. It's got a dump point and stuff. Only one's here. Only one's here. Um, they have a little walking trail. You can walk around and see like the old remnants of all the old buildings and stuff. So we might just take the dogs for a little walk around that while it's not raining. Yeah. And then we might hibernate. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. Thank you, Victoria. It's we're, not cold. Used, we're not used to the cold. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 
Okay. We left Neil, Neil. Neil this morning on our way to Falls Gap. Uh, really excited about that. Meeting up with my brother and sister in law and the two kids. Uh, not looking forward to the weather. It was pretty cold last night. <laughs> uh, I think I was a bit colder than Grant. I actually had to get up and put my Ugg boots on and then go back to bed with Ugg boots on. <laughs> Yesterday she says, like, how does it feel to be in Victoria? I'm like, cold. It feels cold. So, uh, I feel think, like Victoria though. Yeah. I think I need to get the flannel out sheets out and the um, blanket because we don't have them on the bed yet. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit chilly, but all good. We just need to be a little bit more prepared. We might change the sheets over today. Um, we're looking forward to it. Mm. Yeah, so two days, we're in Hall's Gap, just sort of see what, see what we get up to, really. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know if we're actually going to go see anything or just hang around. Just catching up. Uh <laughs> so, we're driving along on our way to Hall's Gap. And we've come across the scariest, <laughs> I think the scariest big thing that I've ever seen. If you've seen something scarier, please let us know because I want to go see it. And don't see me. <laughs> and by the way, like this is like every kid's worst nightmare <laughs> on a road trip because this place is at dad's well. How many bad dad jokes would there be? <laughs> and then uh, the scariest bloody thing you've ever seen. I'll show you. Have a go. <laughs> Check that out. Like how friggin' scary is that thing? It's the scariest koala I have ever seen. <laughs> is it possessed by the devil? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know, but he doesn't look happy at doesn't all. Doesn't look happy. <laughs> He's oh, not neither. happy to see us. <laughs> but yeah, if there's any other like real creepy big things, let us know in the comments because I want to go see them. <laughs> <laughs>